Hello, good morning. Welcome to our channel Yushi Talks and today we are going to talk about a family which has no fingerprints. This is a very interesting news and this is coming from Bangladesh. So please do not skip the video. Watch me till the completion and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and press that sir. Uh, subscribe button so we are talking about a family the male members of which do not have any fingerprints Apu, who lives uh, who is 22 lives with his family in a village in the northern district of Rajshahi in Bangladesh he was working as a medical assistant until recently and his father and grandfather were farmers the men in Apu's family share a genetic mutation so rare it is thought to affect only a small handful of families in the world they have no fingerprints back in the day of Apu's grandfather having no fingerprints uh, was not a big deal because uh, they did not even uh, think of it as a problem but over the decades the tiny grooves that swirl around our finger fingertips known properly as dermatoglyphs have become the world's most collected biometric data we use them for everything from passing uh, through airports to voting to even opening our smartphones. In 2008, when Apu was still a boy, Bangladesh introduced national ID cards for all adults and the database required a thumbprint. The baffled employees did not know how to issue a card to Apu's father, whose name is Amal Sarkar. Finally, he received a card with no fingerprint stamped on it. In 2010, fingerprints became mandatory for passports and driver's licenses. After several attempts, Amal was able to obtain a passport by showing a certificate from medical board. He has never used it though, partly because he fears the problems he may face at the airport. And though riding a motorbike is essential to his farming work, he has never obtained a driving license. He says that he has paid the fee, he passed the exam, but they did not issue him a license because he couldn't provide a fingerprint. So Amal now carries a license fee payment received with him, but it doesn't always help him. He has already been caught twice and has been fined twice. He tries to explain them the situation, but it doesn't really help every time. So it's really embarrassing for him, he says. In 2016, the government made it mandatory to match a fingerprint with the national database in order to purchase a SIM card for a mobile phone. This seemed confused when I went to buy a SIM. Their software kept freezing every time I'd put my finger on the sensor, Apu said, and uh, he was denied the purchase and all the male members of the family now use SIM cards issued on the mother's name because this condition only affects the male members of the family and is not seen in the woman uh, of the family. The rare condition likely afflict afflicting Sarkar family is called as a dermatoglyphia. It first became widely known in 2007 when Peter Etienne, a Swiss dermatologist, was contacted by a woman in the country in her late 20s who was having trouble entering US. Her face matched the photograph on the passport, but custom officers were not able to record any fingerprints because she didn't have any. The mutation they were looking for all those years affected a gene nobody knew anything about, said Professor Spreacher, hence the uh, years it took to find it. Plus, the mutation affected a very specific part of the gene, which apparently had no function in a gene of no function. Once discovered, this disease was called as A. dermatoglyphia, but Professor Itin dubbed it as immigration delay disease after his first patient trouble getting into U.S. So a dermatologist in Bangladesh has diagnosed the family's condition as congenital palmoplantar keratoderma, which Professor Itin believes developed into secondary A dermatoglyphia, a version of the disease which also can cause dry skin and reduce sweating on palms and feet, symptoms reported by this family. More testing would be needed to confirm that the family has some form, form of A dermatoglyphia. Professor Spreacher said his team would be very glad to assist the family with genetic testing. The results of those tests might bring uh, this family some certainty but no relief from the day-to-day -day struggles of navigating the world without fingerprints. So Apu says that he is really tired of explaining the situation over and over again. He has asked many people for advice, but none of them could give any definite answer. Uh, some suggested that he should go to court and if all options fail, then that's what he might have to do. So Apu hopes that he will be able to obtain a passport. He would love to travel outside Bangladesh and he just needs to start his application. So that's all we have uh, for you in this story about the family that has no fingerprints. Uh, do let me know how 
do you find the story in the comment section and if you would like to know you know more about such kind of stories around the world i can make you know videos on that so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please uh, go ahead and do that and let me know how how do you find this thank you for watching me so far you have a wonderful day ahead bye bye